Hey, what's up, my little title talks? How y'all doing today? Well, baby, if you were Miss Kimberly Noel Kardashian, uh, we're wondering what's going on. If you guys don't remember, Kris Jenner said that she forbid Corey Gamble going on some show called Yellowstone because, baby, he ain't no way her man was going to be kissing on anyone. And I said, Chris, do you really think that Fickles... <laughs> that anybody is going after Thickles. Seriously, the only thing you need to be worried about, Corey Gamble French kissing, is a cheesecake, a cheese steak and a cheesecake from Pat's Steak with some fried onions, ketchup, mayo, and provolone. Y'all, let's get into this because we gotta talk about a couple things. One, Corey Gamble. Chris, you worried about somebody taking your man? I don't know what he's putting in your metamucil at night, but you better stop drinking it. It's making you have his hallucinations. But the real gag is, what is up with Miss Kimberly Noel Kardashian and sharing is caring? If you guys don't know, in the new episode of Keeping Up with the Kardashians, I swear the recap is going to be up. But let me just give you guys a little teaser. There is a gross moment when Corey... Okay, let me set the scene for you. Cause it's oh, oh, just just be ready for it. Cause it's yucky, right? Um, they had a really weird and like really awkward, in my opinion, right? An awkward greeting. But let me know what you think about it. Because Corey actually went and Kim was being so cringe talking about her best friend if you don't believe me kim can get as much money as she wants i'm about to get to the Corey gamble stuff in a second but let me go off on this tangent kim can get as much money as she wants she can become a billionaire she can get a hedge fund going that in two years hasn't invested anything <laughs> whatever right sounds like forbes again you make the cover of fortune magazine mama i want to know how much did you pay those writers or did, or, or did Fortune want to get placed? Because you know everybody wants some of that Kardashian media machine. But let's get to it. Beyonce, girl, Kim, tell, you know what? Let me just play it for y'all because I can't do it justice. Kim can get as much money as she wants. Why is she so cringe? Why will she always be a name chasing clout chaser to her heart? I'm waiting to see the somersault she does when Kanye does his concert honoring Bianca. But listen to Kim and tell me this isn't the cringiest thing you've ever heard in your life because there's something that happened in the scene that really made it. It made my it made my gag reflex just thinking about it. Listen to this. I'm definitely still a lightweight. I'll have like two shots and I'll be wasted, and it's so much fun. I'll be okay. Pause. I know I keep pausing. Have you noticed? Is Kim one of the investors in Kindle's 818? I bet you she is. I bet you she has a lot of money wrapped up in 818. Because can you explain to me how as soon as Kindle gets uh, an alcohol company, now Kim, who always, in my opinion, told stories about never drinking, never doing anything else, now you're drunk. You said you, you did 11 shots at Michael Rubin's party. Shut up, Kim. You are three apples high. You can't take more than six shots before passing out. I'm willing to bet, right? Now you're in Cabo. Kim, who's obsessed with looking young. Kim, who said she will eat a bowl of human poo-poo every single day of her life if it meant she can look 20 forever. Kim's drinking alcohol, the number one thing that will age you, give you wrinkles and make you look like howdy doody before your time. Kim is drinking. Girl, that ain't nothing but applesauce, apple juice shots you're doing in the kitchen. Shut up, Kim. But listen to this, right? So she's just like, okay, so let's keep going. Where is it at? You know what? We'll just rewind because I messed up the whole thing. I won't say another word. I promise. Hold on, y'all. Two shots. Wasted. And it's so much fun. I'll be dancing on the dance floor. Seriously, I know you guys don't believe me. Ask Beyonce. I danced all night long at her party. <laughs> I think I blacked out. <laughs> <laughs> but I woke up to so many text messages. And I was like, Chloe? look at this what did i do what did i do she's like you were dropping it low and dance and i was like no. i just i had no idea first of all kim's laugh sorry guys first of all kim's laugh is so fake she's not even 
this, the fact that Kim wanted to find a way to be like, <laughs> ask Beyonce, I danced all night, Beyonce, I danced all night at her party. <laughs> I was dropping it low and doing all these things. First of all, how are you in the trenches as a parent? And you're saying that you're coming in drunk, so far that you are a mother of four kids. According to you, Connie ain't getting those kids. So you're coming home drunk every night, blackout drunk as a mother of four, I guess, right? Saint's nanny wants to have a word with you. But also, um, Kim, this shameless plugging, she will always be a clout chasing Calabasas girl at her heart. But you know what? What's the first clue that you are not friends with Beyonce. The fact that you are calling her ax Beyonce. Yeah, you really know how to pronounce your new best friend's name, don't you? You and Beyonce have a lot of talks, right? Beyonce. Anyway, right? In that scene, which was so weird, after Kim said that, Corey came in and said hi to everyone. He gave kiss, he gave Chris a kiss on the cheek and then if you look at the picture i have on the screen he turned around and gave kim a kiss on the back of her neck now some people said some people said oh no no no, no. he just didn't want to mess kim's makeup up even chris was looking like what some people said oh no no that's it listen i might not be a fake billionaire I might not even be a real millionaire. I might not be from Calabasas. My face might not be surgically enhanced. My body might be real. Maybe I'm just too close to the pores. But where I'm from, your mama's boyfriend, your mama's man, your stepdaddy, or even your daddy does not walk into a room and greet everybody and then give you a kiss on the back of the neck because he doesn't want to mess up your makeup. Baby, it's not that serious. It's not that serious because baby, we don't even have to say anything. We can do the, hello. We can do the gentleman's handshake. Y'all listen, I thought that was the weirdest thing I've ever seen in my life. But the more and more we know about the Kardashians, they have always been weirdly inappropriate. That's how we got famous. It's like a weirdo family. Remember when Rob was Chris's toes? Remember when Chloe was asking Rob would he sleep with a Chloe Kardashian lookalike because he was bragging he slept with a Kim Kardashian lookalike? Remember when Chris thought it was so cute and was encouraging Rob to have a crush on Kim? Remember when Chloe made a uh, a video for Lammy and she was like doing, hey Lammy, Ooh, waiting for you to have my candy tree, some corny mess like this, right? And Rob was watching the video like, oh, that's disgusting, but was looking like this. Y'all go watch those old episodes and keep it up with the Kardashians. But you know what the real gag is? And this is the funniest thing. Honestly, this is the weirdest thing I ever, why was Corey Gamble kissing Kim on the back of the neck? And you can't say that he missed her cheek because you clearly see him hitting right there. Again, I guess sharing and caring is in the Kardashians. I guess that's um, the, the job benefits, the perks of being uh, Chris's boy toy boyfriend because you know Chris said she ain't never marrying Corey but I don't even but I guess Chris don't not nothing to worry about maybe Kim put some cheesesteak cologne put Uday cheesesteak behind her ear y'all listen listen to this they said Corey Gamble was very close to saddling up um he was advised to turn down a role in the western drama Yellowstone by longtime girlfriend Kris Jenner as she revealed during the season four premiere of the Kardashians I was so excited to watch the next episode of Yellowstone right and he's uh Corey said if it wasn't for you i would be a yellow i would be a yellowstone star thickums 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 what would you be a star of unless you're gonna be the what what I guess Corey was like, these hips and some cowboy boots, they don't know nothing about this in Calabasas. Girl, please. Anyway, Chris said, I told him no, right? Because I thought he was going to have a romantic relationship. You thought that Thickum's wide hit gamble was having a romantic relationship? First of all, it's sweet that Chris thinks that man is wanted outside of what he can pay for, but I guess, right? Um, listen, but you know what the funny thing is, Chris in a way, everybody, 
Corey Gamble gets paid and lives a lavish lifestyle because Chris wears the pants and Chris does what she wants. Everybody's always so concerned about Corey cheating on Chris. Baby, Chris is the one that we need you watching because Corey knows, yes, and Mrs. Jenner, would you and your new male friend like some lemonade? I've made some good watermelon lemonade today. <laughs> He'd probably be out offering them like shucking or driving, doing the thing, offering them some watermelon lemonade. Because Chris in that same episode said, um, if they wanted you to star in a remake of The Bodyguard with Kevin Costner, would you do it? And Chris said, that's a hard yes. And Corey was just sitting there wondering, is they gonna make some cheesesteaks? Excuse me, Miss Jenna, am I gonna eat in a big house tonight? Anyway, y'all, listen, let me stop. But honestly, the whole point of this was, am I the only person that thinks that's weird that Chris, that Corey is kissing Kim on the back of her neck? What goes on in that family? And before y'all be like, you don't got nothing else to talk about? No, we don't. Please leave your comments in the <laughs> Please leave your comments down below. Listen, let me know what you think in the comments. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.